One of the hottest topics in the communications networking industry right now is private networking. So to talk about this, I'm here today with Caroline Chan from Intel and Richard Ban from HP. Good to see you both. Thanks for joining us today. So great to see you face to face. Thank you, Ray. Pleasure to be here. Now, we hear a lot about the accelerated use of private networking by enterprises these days. Uh, Caroline, can you give us an example of the kind of use cases and the sectors that are starting to adopt private networking? So the market today is still nascent, but we have actually seen a couple of the verticals really jumped out. I'm just looking at the, the cases that the we have been involved in. The first one, what they call SLED school, local education. What happened in the last two years, kids need connectivity. That's the first thing that we saw. Does it actually have government funding behind it? And then the other thing we saw was agriculture. Surprisingly, a lot of precision agriculture goes in, harvesting, the fertilizer usage, and not to mention the, the fact that the climate change impact many of the farmers. So we have actually worked on that quite a bit. Manufacturing, and the last one, logistics. So. Quite a few of these have government funding to really start pushing things forward, but we definitely see the private networks being rolled out and trialed in those verticals. So what are some of the challenges that the enterprises are facing as they start to plan and then build out these private networks? So, so one thing that really jumped out is when we look at network in the past, you're assuming this is an operator. People with RF engineering degree taking this. Now we are completely pivoting to a new industry. People making decisions do not necessarily need to worry about spectrums and RF and you know, inflection. All the, the issues that we had to deal with in telco had to be make it easy, the easy button. Going back again and again towards that, the automation, the you know, service assurance. The other thing is business models, right? Is that tend to be more of a subscription-based business model as a service business model. So there's both a technology inflection and a business model transition. I think that is an area that many of us work in a private network space need to address and make that much more uh, easier for the consumption for the enterprise side. And Richard, are you seeing any particular challenges for enterprises as you start to talk to companies about this? Yeah, I think what Caroline was saying, it's, it is a, a nascent market, so there's a lot of experimentation ongoing. But we can already start to see the shape of what needs to be done in order to scale up this, uh, this industry. And so clearly, uh, as Caroline was saying, there's a need to make things easier, simpler. It must be democratized as a technology. And that requires a couple of things. It's clear that we need to have a bit of flexibility in the deployment models. We need to make less of the complexity exposed at the edge and keep some of that centralized in an operator, an operator network who are quite used to dealing with that complexity. So that's clearly one element. The automation is absolutely key in order to drive down costs, but also to simplify the day-to-day -day life of the enterprise. And the other thing that we clearly see is that um, you know, the enterprise context is a little bit different from a telco one. The, the enterprise context today typically has a, a strong dose of Wi-Fi. And so deploying a private networking alongside Wi-Fi rather than as a full replacement of Wi-Fi brings its own set of complexities, particularly for the IT administrator. And so if you look back at enterprise, we, we know this, this need very well. We understand the needs of the enterprise and we're working very hard to make that experience as close as possible to what they already have with Wi-Fi. So Richard, are you taking these insights and experiences into the market now? Because I think HPE has just launched its own private 5G solution, hasn't it? Absolutely. So you may have seen last week we announced our 5G private network offer, which is an evolution of our 5G core stack, which is something that was designed for telcos, but with a very strong cloud-native approach, very agile, scaling down very nicely and a high degree of automation. And so what we've done is we've now added these different deployment models that I talked about before. We've also extended the enterprise, you know, with an enterprise user portal because clearly there's a need for the enterprise to do some degree of self-service. And as an example, um, slice management. So we, in the industry, we talk a lot about slice management, but how does it apply to an enterprise? Well, for instance, we see people are interested in separating IT and OT, but then the details, the nitty gritty of what a slice actually is, they're not that much interested in. So what we do is we expose them a slice catalog. We give them a simplified interface that allows them to choose 
which slices to be deployed where, and then allocate subscribers or devices to those slices. So those are some of the things that we're doing. And again, working very closely with the colleagues from Aruba Wi-Fi to, to bring together these two technologies. So Caroline, I mean, no one company can really bring all of this to market by themselves. So uh, how is the ecosystem working together to make it easier to deploy private networks? I think this is probably the perfect case that all of us have worked together. Richard mentioned this is IT, this is OT, on top of the traditional telco space, right? And in the telco old days, we roll out network, we know who the players are. This is one new domain that you had to accommodate, for example, the vertical um, knowledge that we may not have. If it's a shipping, if it's logistics, there is a separate type of uh, application developers at SI that comes in. So it really calls for an ecosystem to work together, it really calls for some pre-certification, certified and pre-integrated solution, and with a, a really a strong domain knowledge. So we, we recognize that, we partner with HPE, in doing some of the work, such as a, a lab that we, we, we jointly do have together in Fort Collins and US, that really start saying, how do we put a solution, a blueprint together, ready for scale? This is not a case where you can give out, well, here's the a, here's a equipment and then go at it. You can't just throw that across the wall. So very, very important for, for uh, HPE, Intel together and bring a holistic group of uh, ecosystem partners and do this blueprint. And, and Richard, are you seeing any new models of collaboration and partnerships as companies come together to help enterprises with private networks? Oh, definitely. As Caroline was saying, there's absolutely the need for bringing in the industry vertical knowledge and we're working much more closely with you know, system integrators, other industry vertical partners to make this happen. The other piece is, you know, we talked about scaling up. And scaling up means, uh, you know, it means also bringing down the cost of this solution. And as Caroline was saying, you cannot just give them a, a box of tools and then assemble it yourself. It must be prepackaged. It must be optimized from a professional services perspective, from a software automation perspective, but also from a, a hardware footprint, energy usage, and these kind of things. And here we're, we're working together with, uh, with Intel on AI powered power, you know, power management in order to further reduce the cost of deployment. One of the very critical elements here of, that is going to determine the success of this technology is of course the kind of problems we will solve, but also the, the cost points at which we're able to solve these, uh, these technology. Uh. So Richard, Intel and HP have a really broad portfolio together, bringing enterprise and telco together to deliver these solutions for enterprises in private networking. So for any enterprises or service providers interested in private networking, who should they go and talk to? I think, I think we are probably the right people to talk to. I think we're bringing together all the different elements, working closely with partners like Intel and others. So please, you know, reach out and let's have that conversation. So it's clear that Intel and HP have got a great combination here to take out to the private networking market. Caroline, Richard, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you and look forward to next year again.